Well, good day and I love you. I'm Heather Peterson Lockhart and I have a story for you today. Outside in this Georgia heat. There was a time in my life where my son played chess and he played at this beautiful Persian restaurant and I had the privilege of meeting the men that owned and worked and owned and operated the restaurant. And um, when I would come in, I would always often speak with these men about what was going on in their life, learn about their culture. Um, there was one Jamaican man in particular who was absolutely beautiful um, about sharing his life with me and um, actively sought my perspective um, on what was going on with him. So one time he was sharing with me about a whole lot that was going on in his life. He said, you know, things were feeling really heavy. He was very overwhelmed. And I said to him, I want you to pretend I'm your mama. I want you to pretend I'm your mama and that I've told you and your sisters and your brothers to go clean up your room and clean up your things that you've left around the house. And I've not just told you once, I've told you twice, I've told you three times, I've told you a whole lot to go clean up after yourself. And the fact that you're not cleaning up after yourself is now making an issue for your brothers and your sisters and me, tripping over your things, things are unorganized, disheveled, and we're not really able to flow as beautifully as we could in our home because y'all aren't tidying up your business, right? So. I have decided to gather up all of the things that you have refused to participate with cleaning up in the home, and I have thrown them in the middle of your bed. Yes, and I have thrown them all over your bed, and there's so much crap on your bed that there's no way you're gonna be able to sleep in your bed until you clean up your room and clean up your mess. So, am I a mean mama? And he says, oh, no mama. And I said, am I a good mama? making you take care of your business. And he says, I am a mama. <laughs> and I said, that's right. I'm a good mama because I want you to have more order in your life because it helps you flow better and those around you flow better. And he says, I am. And I said, so that's what's going on in your life right now. This beautiful earth being the loving mother that she is, this beautiful galaxy and all that is, team up, high five, chest bump, for yours truly, yeah, for all the little boys and girls of humanity. And so when we feel like all of our crap got piled in our bed and we can't sleep and we can't function right, then we can say, well, I'm being served up with my own shit so I can get straight. But most of us don't say it like that. Most of us feel totally overwhelmed, like things are just impossible and we're not gonna be able to take care of it because we don't know how to back, go back to basics and take care of ourselves. I share this story today because I have worked with a lot of people in just the last few days who are feeling that way. They are, all their things have been gathered and put in their bed and now they can't sleep and they're not sure where to start and they're not sure where to begin with getting things in order again. With that story, when I shared that story with that man, it resonated with him and he understood the sentiment and the energy behind it because he had a Jamaican mama. He had a Jamaican mama that was in his face and up his ass from the time he came. Most of us, many of us in the United States did not grow up with that island mama that was in our face and up our butt, motivating us and keeping us tethered. Most of us had a mama that was getting pretty concerned about achieving or being a boss babe and going back to work. Yes. And so we have a great deal of grown-ups now that didn't get raised. Especially the men. The men are really having a hard time today. I work with a lot of men who are having a really hard time with just back to basic living because they've never been taught how to feel their feelings how to feel their body, how to feed their body, how to show up in life other than how to go to work, how to earn money, how to be strong. And so you do that for a while and then once that gets either old or you get really good at it or you wanna integrate some other things, maybe have some fun, find some joy in your life, these men feel like they are running around with their pants down and it's not a pleasant experience because they don't know where to start, how to get back to basics with their fitness, their tr nutrition, and their self-connection. And so I have really come full circle in my recent experience and how I have been uh, participating in my own business 
and I have decided to regroup and change my whole Be Sexy in Six to Back to Basics reboot. It's what we need. I am really good at teaching humans how to take care of themselves. Big humans and little humans. And so I have decided to do more of that and gear it especially with the men who are needing help. Men who are experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder, men who are experiencing low testosterone levels. We have more men wanting to kill themselves and kill others today in this country than ever. And it doesn't have to be that way. So, I am launching Back to Basics Reboot Six Week Recalibration. We kick off a men's group on July 1st. And um, I will be continuing to reach with this program. Um, I have really big news coming up for you all. Um, with my, with my services and how I am able to administer them. And I am joyous beyond belief. This is what I came for. And uh, it sure does feel good um, to feel good. So, if you are interested in my six week Back to Basics reboot, please uh, send me a direct message. Um, I'm offering, I'll still offer the early bird special. Um, I, I just really want you all to get what you need. And um, the, this first session kicks off on July 1st. And then for the rest of is, go clean your room. We just gotta go clean the crap off our bed. And we only have to take it one thing at a time, you know? Uh, it's a divine time where we're being shown what's not gonna work anymore. So for me, I think that's beautiful because it takes the guesswork out of it. And then it makes it more simple and more defined and provides clarity as to how I need to modify my beliefs and my behavior so that I can live a more happy, healthy, harmonious life. Yes, because that's what I came for and I believe you did too. Thank you for being here with me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for all my good news about all my beautiful business. I truly do love you and I'm thankful you're here.